Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. Name's David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my Sunday vlog. I'm actually recording this on uh, September 18th, 2018, but I'll upload it the following Sunday. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys what's been going on with me, what video games I've been playing, movies I've been watching, what events I've been attending, stuff like that. We'll go from there. Um, not a lot of people ask me some uh, questions, but I I'll, I'll answer some uh, like commonly asked questions that people tend to ask me in my videos. Okay, I say we start with games. I, I have the least to say about the games, all right? <laughs> I did complete Shadow of the Tomb Raider this past week. It took me like about a week, about a week to finish it, man. Uh, limited edition steelbook version of it, okay? Um, here's a steelbook, opens up. It's got the uh, codes. It's got uh, collectible cards. It's got uh, advertisements for upcoming games, okay? I'm still playing it, by the way. Um, the story lasts me, I would say it's about a 12-hour long uh, campaign, all right? And the rest is uh, side missions. I still got these challenge tombs and a bunch of side missions that you do for the people in the, in the, in the game. I thought the game was great, beautiful graphics, by the way. Some of the best graphics I've ever, probably ever seen in a, in a, in a video game. Uh, smooth gameplay. It's not so heavy on the combat. Puzzles are really challenging. I really enjoyed it, okay? I give the game about a 9 out of 10, okay? Uh, why did I not give it a 10 out of 10? I just wanted more. <laughs> um, so yeah, be, be, a wonderful game. If, if you want, you can check out all my gameplay on, uh, on Twitch, okay? I will... Uh, forward it to um, to YouTube also so you can actually see my gameplay. I'll make it one big 10 hour long video. How about that? All right. Um, movies I've seen this past week. I saw for the very first time American Sniper. Yeah, starring Bradley Cooper. It's uh, based on a true story about a sniper who's uh, got like very, he's He's very good with his job, let's just say that. But he's trying to balance his work life in the military with his, uh, you know, wife and kids and stuff like that. Uh, I really enjoyed it. My dad's already seen it before I did. I thought it was great. So definitely check this movie out. Um, pulls at your heartstrings, you know. Uh, drama, action. Do check it out. I also saw, oh God. The Far Cry movie. Did you guys know there was a Far Cry movie? I, I didn't know until like uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> but it's based on the first game. There's a disc. There it is. Based on the best-selling video game. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Um, it's uh, Jack Carver's story, so the first Far Cry, which I have not actually completed playing. I tried to live stream myself playing it, and it, it didn't really work out. <laughs> but uh, yeah. This year is Far Cry year, okay? <laughs> so, uh, I, I would say it's a Halo year and Far Cry year. I, I try to catch up with both, both, both uh, franchises. I really, the, the movie's okay. Low budget. I just want to let you guys know it's very low budget. Um, acting is, acting's okay. You know, it's not terrible. Story is kind of bland. Just want to say that. Um... I can't really say much about it, you know? It's a video game movie, you shouldn't expect much anyway. <laughs> um, let's talk about events I've been to in the past couple, uh, in the past couple weeks, since, since my last vlog. I did go to Fandemic Tour Comic Con, okay? I went on Friday, had a Groupon for, uh, for Friday only, okay? So Friday was like 40% off, I could find a Groupon for 40% uh, off on the gated mission. So I, I went on Friday where Paige was there, I actually got her autograph, and if you haven't seen the video of me attending the uh, Q&A panel with Paige from WWE, um, uh, check it out, all right? The video is about a half hour long, which is, uh, you're probably missing out on like 20 minutes of the panel, okay? Because I, I just want to sit there and listen. I didn't want to record the entire thing, you know? Holding my hand up like this, holding my camera up, and also losing batteries at the same time, you know? She seems nice, you know? Uh, answer a lot of questions for people. Some people ask her things like, uh, what's her favorite music? 
Um, will AJ Lee come back? You know, some they try to get uh, information from her about the you know the background, the uh, behind the scenes type stuff. Um, her job as a GM. Uh, the upcoming movie that's coming out like next next March. Like they asked her a few questions about that. Um, Pandemic Tour Comic Con. I'll be honest with you, is not my favorite Comic Con. I still think Wizard World is my favorite. Um, but but this one's not too bad. There's tons of cosplayers, tons of vendors. You know, uh, a lot of people showed up. Uh, other celebrities besides Paige, um, Norman Reedus from uh, Walking Dead. He was there signing autographs and stuff like that too. There was like a whole um, Walking Dead, uh, like the guy who played Glenn, he was there too. Um, who else? Uh, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy, Batista was there, Michael Rooker, um, who's that one dude? There, there was a couple guys from like the Guardians of the Galaxy. If you like Smallville, which I do too, but the Smallville cast was only there on Saturdays and Sundays. I went Friday, okay? So Tom Welling, uh, Michael Rosenbaum, who played Lex Luthor, um, uh, James Marster, uh, wait, James, uh, the guy who played Brainiac in the show, he was also on Buffy. He was there too. Um, uh, John Schneider, who played uh, Jonathan Kent in, in, in the show, he was there also. So there's a, a few things. If you like Doctor Who, there's a couple of Doctor Who actors there too. Um, but if you like Walking Dead, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Smallville, you have some 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 of the meat. All right. Um, there's other people there, but uh, you know. But uh, I really enjoyed Pandemic Tour Comic Con. I enjoyed the uh, panel. I enjoyed, you know, cosplayers and stuff like that. I, I would make a more, uh, like a montage of cosplayers, but it was like, it's just Friday, you know? It's, just, it's not everyone. But uh, if, you want, if, you want, if you want to see it, I'll, I'll gladly upload it one for you guys, all right? Although some people, I gave, uh, oh, can you record a video for us? And he didn't press record. So I was like, oh, oh my gosh, you know? <laughs> um... Then last Saturday, I went to meet another WWE superstar, Becky Lynch. Look at that. I got her autograph to David right there. Um, oh, my gosh. There was probably like 600 people that waited in line to meet Becky Lynch. And it was sad because after a certain while, because the, the event was only there from like 2 to 4. Okay, it's only about two hours long. I was there like 11 o'clock. <laughs> like... Hours before, so I, I was like almost guaranteed in. Um, they gave me like a little wristband saying you're, you're guaranteed to meet Becky Lynch. So I, was, I, I was relieved about that. Um, but I waited in line for like three and a half hours, four hours, just to meet Becky Lynch for like what 10, 20 seconds, right? Um, it was good. I thought it was worth it. You know, look, I, I got an autographed photo of her. I got a little picture of her also. If you haven't checked out my video of me meeting Becky Lynch um, at the Xfinity. Here in Houston, Texas, do check it out. Uh, some people have been asking me because they have these events going on in, in their own cities, like Chicago is coming up. Like uh, uh, Alexa Bliss is going to meet uh, in Chicago, right? And some people have been, they saw my video of me uh, meeting Alexa Bliss, and they want to ask, you know, um, uh, any advice about that. So this is the Q and A session right here. Okay, this is where I answer your guys' questions. When you're going to these things, all right. Um, I would say go early, all right? I would say three hours early. You're going to wait three hours no matter what, all right? <laughs> so, so even if you did it like all day sort of thing and uh, the event started at noon, you're, you're, you're still going to wait for like three hours just, just to get to, to her, you know? Um, I'll say this. Bring a water bottle. They will bring out, uh, they'll have water bottles there for, for you, by the way, but uh, bring a water bottle, bring some snacks, I did, okay, and it was worth it. And bring something to entertain yourself besides your phone. Because you may need your phone to take that picture with that celebrity that, that you want to want to meet, you know? When I was about to meet um, Becky Lynch, my phone was like 15%. And it, I, I left the house 100%, you know? Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I would say bring something to entertain you. Um, a, you know, bring an MP3 player, something separate. Like a 3DS, your Vita, your Switch, whatever, right? But uh, if you spend your entire time on your phone or whatever, it may run out of batteries by the time you actually meet the person. So bring something to entertain yourself, water, um, and some, some, some food with you, all right? Because uh, you're going to be waiting in line for a while. There will be people there who are probably going to sleep <laughs> in front of the store just, just to meet this girl, okay? Uh, or, or whoever celebrity you're, you're going to meet. So um, that's my advice to you. Come early, you know? 
chances are the first 200 people may be the only people who meet her. Yeah, when I met Becky Lynch, that, that was what happened, you know? Um, it's like those who had the wristband will see them, and then they just cut everyone off. They're, 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 I couldn't believe it, man. Kids were crying. Like, they said, you guys just go home. You're not meeting Becky Lynch today. And, man, the kids were crying. There was a couple in front of me. Uh, they were like, um, they, they, felt, they felt so bad. They actually gave their spot to one of the kids, you know? Well, actually, they, they, they took some of the kids w with them, you know? They, they, know they, they, they were like, oh, mom, you, you just stay outside. We'll, we'll, we'll say there are kids, and then we'll, we'll go to uh, go in and ha have the picture, you know? So, yeah. <clears throat> um, pre pretty exciting to uh, meet these people, okay? Um, if you're going to... Uh, uh, video games I'm playing right now, um, I'm playing a game on the DS, all right? <laughs> Every single night I go to sleep, I play this Brothers in Arms uh, game uh, on the DS. Very low quality game. Um, but it's keeping me entertained at least. Um, and of course, I'm, I'm finishing up all the, uh, the side missions and the... Uh, I'm playing New Game Plus for uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <clears throat> the next game I'm buying is probably Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I know people want me to play like Spider-Man or something, but I already spoiled myself. Like I, I, I watched the videos, the some dude named Twin something. I watched uh, Rad Brad. I watched um, there was uh, like gaming playground or something. They actually have like all the cutscenes put together into one big movie. All right. So if I want to see uh, uh, gameplay or the cutscenes, I've already spoiled myself the entire game. So I, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if I'll ever play Spider-Man, Final Fantasy XV, Resident Evil 7, God of War. Like, these games I spoil completely for myself, you know? Uh, Last of Us, another game. People keep asking me, hey, David, I think you love Last of Us. I'm like, yeah, sure. I, 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 I've seen the gameplay from beginning to end. You know, I've seen all the cutscenes. I, I, I know the story of it. So, um, I spoiled myself. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> What's going on? Someone's outside. Someone's outside. 